Hey everyone, how you doing? Back for another live. You must be used to it by now. Getting rather regular at the, at the time as well, so which is pretty cool. I'll wait for some people on, make sure everyone can hear me, and we'll get started. Which will be a lot of fun. Um, went into the city today and uh, had a haircut. Don't know if it looks any good or not. I've never a judge of that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it was, it was really cool because uh, they put you in this chair and it, and it massages your back as you go, and so it's pretty cool. So I didn't mind that at all, eh? Bit, a bit of pampering for the day. But as you can tell, I got my ears lowered a bit. So, uh, yes, yes, uh, tell me what you think. You know, it's, does it look. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I've been uh, preparing tonight, to, uh, I've been packing packing my suitcase to go down to Tasmania um, to be best man at Tom's wedding. Ha ha, Tom's getting married. And uh, so, uh, but uh, I'm going down a few days before to, to make sure everything's set up right and, uh, and uh, to give uh, Tom moral support and uh, make fun of him quite a lot. I'm terrible, aren't I? Aren't I rotten? I'm a rotten person. So, um... Yeah, so uh, I'll be flying out in the next uh, couple of hours. I'll be uh, leaving here to go to the airport, and uh, then it's a quick flight down. And because uh, I, I picked a plane with no stops, so it, uh, no no stops along the way, so it's it's pretty quick down there. And uh, you know, I'll have a few days there. It's really good because I've never been to Tasmania. Um, it's uh, it's a lot like um, the reckon it's a lot like uh, the, the UK, uh, especially in winter, like it snows and. Uh, and, and it's much colder down there, obviously closer to the South Pole um, than where I am, which is closer to the equator. So, um, uh, so it's nice and warm here all the time. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. They've got beautiful uh, bushland and, and, and things like that. So apparently a very beautiful place. So I can't wait to have a bit of a look around and, uh, and, and see it all. So uh, I'll be having fun doing that. I'll take, I'll take some pictures, don't worry. I'll take some pickies and uh you know do some work while i'm down there obviously uh i'll be um doing my live still uh probably about the same time i'm not sure because i'm not sure if they're on daylight saving time because i up here in queensland we don't have it but i know they do down there so i'm not sure if they're like an hour ahead or anything but i'll find out when i get there i suppose so uh yeah so <coughs> so that's pretty cool but um i'm going to be checking out uh different things down there as well um but yeah, it's a, from what I've seen, it's a beautiful place. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see it. And I'll report back on what it's like, guys. It might be a good holiday destination for you if you want a quiet time. I don't think it's a big party place, but uh, but yeah, I have no idea. But uh, it's usually pretty quiet down there from what my brother told me when he lived down there. So uh, so no, it should be very exciting. The wedding will be cool. And uh, uh, you know, I'll be all, all gussied up in my suit. It's probably the only time you'll ever see me in one. But, uh, but uh, we'll get pictures of that as well. So, okay, so that's that. Um, so I've had to do an all-nighter because the, uh, I have to be at the airport, like, as I said, in a couple of hours. So uh, there was no point going to bed and um, so on. I, I could have gone to bed earlier, but, you know, someone kept me up. So um, I, had to, I stayed up, so I didn't bother going to sleep. So uh, they know who they are. Uh, okay, what else is happening? Um, if you've seen the post from Elaine, uh, we actually have an ice hockey team that's joined us, um, the Paisley Pirates, um, and, uh, and and one of Elaine's dreams is to, uh, through Bitcoin Ascension, sort of make a make get an ice rink up there for them. They're a very good team actually, so uh, it'd be great for them to have a their own rink, from what uh, Elaine tells me. So we get it, get the uh, Bitcoin Ascension uh, 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 rink would be really really cool. So. Um, uh, ice hockey is very big there in Scotland, and uh, and uh, Elaine loves her her her, um, uh, her ice hockey. And be be good if we actually we could we could like sponsor a team. That'd be cool too. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? With the, on the jerseys and all that, the patches, the track suits. That'd be really really cool. I like that idea. Um, uh, it's a good way to spread the word, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Elaine's been very busy the last few days, and uh, uh, she's been there. Uh, recruiting, working the tables and, and things like that and uh, talking to the fans of uh, the Paisley Pirates and everything like that. So thank you very much, Elaine. You've been working your backside off 
my dear, and um, and uh, you know, and your, your efforts aren't going unnoticed. Believe me, you're working very, very hard. I'm very, very proud to have you as one of my admin. Uh, Elaine was my first admin because uh, when I was setting up in the UK, I launched from the UK, uh, Bitcoin Ascension, and I was talking to Elaine, and I realised pretty much straight away because it was so popular, I needed an admin, so I, I picked on poor Elaine. So, uh, but I'd known Elaine for a little while and. Uh, always trustworthy someone you know you can trust with anything and uh, and uh, she, she she works very very hard so um, she was our very first admin so uh, she's a very special lady and uh, it's 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 rare where you can find people especially you know on, on the online where you can actually really really trust someone I've met quite a few that I can really really trust and I've been surprised by a couple um, that I thought I could trust um, in, in, in online marketing over the years and and then turned out I couldn't and uh, uh, but uh, you know, it, it, you can never really pick it until it happens, I suppose. So, um, but uh, yeah, so I, we've been really lucky here at Bitcoin Ascension. You know, we've got a great bunch of people. So, um, okay, what else is happening? Um, the get started button, how to get started button is there. I'm getting into. Uh, give me your comments and tell me what you think. But I think maybe make it like a lightish green button instead of the the color it is now. I mean. It works in with the system now, but I really want it to like stand out so people see it uh, and don't bypass it. So I'm thinking maybe make it a lightish green, like green for go, you know, press on that. Um, if you haven't seen it, go have a look um, and click on it. It should take you to a new tab if you're on your computer anyway. Um, I know it does on my phone. And uh, and, and have a read and, 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 and tell me what you think. Uh, I've got a post in there on the group page. Uh, and, and so tell me uh, what you think um, of... Uh, uh, how it's set out because if you hate it, we just blame uh, Clive. So um, that's all right, Clive Anderson. So because it was him who put that together. So, um, but no, I love it. It's it, it's easy to follow, and uh, there's even pictures, which is really good for me. I, I need I need books with pictures. So, um, so yeah, so uh, it's really really good. So uh, let us know what you think because remember, you know, all um, your views and opinions, as long as they're constructive. You're not destructive, but constructive. Um, you know, don't be scared to comment saying you could do this or could we do that or um, you know, just but constructive criticism on anything we do because um, that's the only way we're going to get it perfect. You know, everyone's opinion matters here at Bitcoin Ascension. Um, yes, you're members, and yes, I own the program, and but you know me by now. If you haven't already, that you, you, you know, new people don't know me yet, but some of you've been around since the beginning, and and you know me. Uh, I always listen. And um, and take advice. Otherwise, I wouldn't have like accepted Clive's help for the get started button. I would have said, "No, I can do it myself." You know, let's be real. We're all working together for the same same thing. So um, you know, uh, it it would be really wrong not to listen to everyone's opinion, as long as it's constructive. You know, I don't like I don't like negative comments. Don't don't get. I've always believed don't don't, don't just whinge about a problem. Create a solution. You know, come at me. With a problem, but have a solution. If you've got no, if you've got no idea what to do, there's no point um, rehashing a, a current problem or anything like that that you see anywhere in life. Um, but uh, always to try and think of a solution. That way, things get done. There's no good just sitting there complaining about it, is it? Um, I see that a lot in, in, in posts um, over the years in program. They sit there and they just complain. They they offer no solutions, but they seem to love to complain. So. Um, uh, that's not what we do here. We, we, if we, if we ha do have a problem, like with Clive especially, if he sees he sees something that could be improved, he doesn't just say, "Hey, fix that," or "Hey, that could be better." He comes to me with a solution, or a possible solution at least. You know, he at least tries, and um, and it's the same with like uh, Gary Heath and Craig Smith and uh, Reno um, uh, here in here in he lives in Melbourne here. Reno does, you know, and, and they've created their videos. They come to me, they show me the videos. They don't mind if I knock them back, you know, or tell them to edit something in it because it's got to say something right or it would look better if it said this. And, um, you know, because it's constructive, you know. And uh, and, and so, uh, you know, that's how we create, that's how Craig creates such great videos and Gary and, 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 and Reno. So um, it's, uh, and, well, and of course, Kath, sorry, Kath Foster. Well, there's so many to mention now. Jose as well did one. Um, Chuck is always doing something. I'll be talking about Chuck in a minute, but Chuck's always putting something together. Uh, he's amazing, uh, Chuck Shaduck. 
Um, uh, if you see him on YouTube, he's under Digital Duck, which is pretty funny. Chuck Shaduck the Digital Duck. <laughs> oh, I could make a cartoon show. It'll probably be a Disney movie out of that. Chuck Shaduck the Digital Duck. Anyway, um, he's always putting things together. He's awesome. Um, I was talking to him uh, earlier uh, about a few things. He's, he's created a, um, I think it's People Helping People. Uh, it's, a, it's a domain he had before Bitcoin Ascension. He said, well, you know, finally he's found something that he can put on it because he put on, you know, it, you, you got to put on programs on, onto your own um, website sort of thing. And his is by People Helping People. Um, and of course, if they close down within a few months, you know, it sort of ruins your reputation a bit. Um, you know, people say, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And of course, you want your website to, you know, provide value, you know, good value and things like that. And he's found, he's, he, he came to me and he said, you know, Bitcoin Ascension is the first one, you know, that he's seen that um, he really knows it's going to work. And that's why he knocked so many others, putting others up and everything like that. So he's created, you know, he can turn the page on it and everything. I think he's posted in here. It'll be on my timeline. He always posts on my timeline. You know, hit turn page, it takes you to other videos and, and things like that. There's... Um, uh, here's, here's one where while he's having his coffee, he's, he's juicing and he shows you how he does that. Uh, I know Juliet's going to be doing one as well. Um, to show, and she's going to show you a real streamlined way of doing it really, really quickly. And, and it's very easy and a lot of fun. So um, she'll be doing that. And, uh, but uh, Chuck's been uh, working very hard on his videos and talking to people. He talks to people all the time on his Zoom. So what we'll be doing, not this weekend because I've got the wedding, um, but next weekend. Uh, I'll be um, uh, doing the uh, prospect calls. We're finally doing that. I think we picked uh, 2 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. I will get. Uh, I've got a world clock thing on my computer. My computer's packed right now, but um, I've got a world clock thing. So I'll set the times and then I'll make a post showing the times, and that'll be our prospect calls where people um, will come onto uh, Chuck's Zoom. I'll do. Um, Chuck will introduce me and everything. He'll be controlling you know, uh, the muting and, and, and things like that, so things can be seen. And I'll be doing the prospect calls, and we'll do them every single weekend, two a weekend. We'll do one on Saturday, one on the Sunday, um, which uh, I think work out to be, and we had to, we did it at like, I think two o'clock central, because that'll make it at least Saturday morning and Sunday morning, not too early for the UK people. And uh, during the day, I think, uh, for um, the US people and, uh, late afternoon or like six six o'clock in the hour in, in the evening for Australians so uh, I think it pretty much covers everyone so uh, and of course they'll be recorded but the idea of a prospect call is well it's not even a prospect call it's 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 well it is but uh, how, how to put it you know I'm, I'm not doing it to recruit into the matrix I'm doing it to invite people into Bitcoin Ascension because of the projects we want to do and, and complete and and what we really want to do to heal the world of course, the, the Matrix is part of that, so don't get me wrong, I'll be talking about it. But um, it, the type of people we want to be showing this are the people who have um, a mindset where they want to do something about the world and they want to uh, make things uh, better. Uh, and, you know, even if they have their own projects and, and things like that. David Clark's got stuff he wants to do in South Africa and um, there's people all over the place wanting to do something great. Um, and, and they see Bitcoin Ascension as the way, and that's what I want to do on the prospect call. So it's not about, you know, just talking about the matrix, get in, you'll make so much money. You know, we're not, we're not like that. So we still will make the money and, and things like that, but uh, I really want to get the right type of people in and not the ones who just want the money and don't care about anything else. Uh, let's get the carers in, because it's about time the carers, the people who care and work so hard selflessly for other people, caught a break. That's why I want those people in, okay? Not just the, the, the marketing guys that go around from po to, to program to program to program and, and, and drag people along and just wanna, wanna, wanna make money and, and, and don't have any other plans apart from making money. Let's, let's the, the people who really wanna help change the world, they're the people I want to, have a, to, to get a break. I want them to not only succeed with Bitcoin Ascension in terms of the projects they've wanted to do and, um, and what we'll do all together but they'll also make some money out of it too. You know, big bonus for them. Because a lot of these people who work in charities and, and for organisations and things like that and go out and plant trees and, 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 and look out for uh, stray cats and dogs and, and, and help them out, you know, they do it without being paid and, and, and things like that. So I'm, I'm 
trying to work out a way, the sort of thing, you know, I'm working at it, we've worked out a way where people can still do that sort of thing, but, you know, um, you think about it, you know, the, the people donate $30 to charity and $50 to charity all the time, you know, we, we basically want them to come in here and make a donation, but it's going to give back to them. So, um, you know, and millions or billions of people donate to charities every year. So that's, they're the people we want, the people who care. And, um, and that's why I get so excited about Bitcoin Ascension, because it's going to give the, the good people who, who really want to make a difference in the world a break, a nice break for a change. And believe me, there's a lot of us out there who, who want to be like that. So, um, uh, yeah, so the, I'll do the prospect calls. I'll do a couple a week, um, Saturday and Sunday. Um, if I find that I only need one a week, you know, we'll pick the best day for people. Um, maybe a Sunday morning, you know, Sunday during the day. Uh, is, is it will work better for you or Saturday so uh, but we'll find out so you invite people along to the zoom show them how to set up a zoom uh, app it's pretty easy um, and uh, we'll have obviously the link and everything to join get them to join they listen to me for a very short period of time I won't be dragging it out for like hours or anything like that um, and then we'll have questions and answers and they can be on camera they don't have to be on camera if they don't want to be um, they can sit there to listen, they can type in a chat box their questions and things like that and Chuck can uh, be checking that out and, and be telling me the questions because I'll answer any question there is. And um, and, and, that, and that way, you know, we'll, we'll have a nice prospect call. Again, one we can uh, we'll record, obviously, and put on our YouTube channel. Uh, the shorter I do them, the better. But um, they've got to be informative. Uh, we're going to share the vision. We're going to do the why, show them the how to get the what. And, and that's basically how it'll be constructed and then there'll be questions. Um, but as much as I want all the members on there as well, uh, because it's fantastic with you guys being on there and asking questions, we really want to introduce new people. So that's what that call is for. Otherwise, I might as well just do my lives at night. Um, but this is for, for people you want to introduce just to have a listen. Doesn't mean they have to sign up or anything, just to have a listen so they can really understand what we're doing. And if they decide to join us, um, even if they're not recruiters or, or major advertisers or anything, we've already got, got a solution that for that, haven't we? We don't have a problem, we have a solution. And that, that was the way we do the juicing. And Juliet and Chuck are, are, are doing their videos to, to show how to, how to juice nice and easy. Um, Chuck's actually focuses a lot on uh, YouTube. And it's really easy what he does. It's just fantastic. Very, very simple. And, you know, considering we've got a, a few thousand people in, 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 in Bitcoin Ascension, um, seriously, there should be on every video there should be um, there should be a few thousand views, even if it's just from us, and that'll get the rankings right up there. And we really want the rankings to go up because then you'll just get noticed, and you won't have to recruit people will be just coming in through the links. Uh, now we've got the how to get started. They even know what to do and where to come to. They'll come into the Facebook group page because uh, that link is in there. Thank you, Clive. So um, so that's what we'll be doing. So not this weekend, but next weekend we'll be doing the prospect call. So, um, and it's going to be uh, 2, 2 p.m. Uh, Central Time in the U.S. And uh, so start talking to people now to get them prepared so they're ready so they can book that free bit of time. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it and, uh, um, and get to get that done. Uh, while I'm down in Tasmania, I'll be working with Tom. Uh, we're going to go through uh, Vistaprint over here as well for the probably for the um, Australian merchandise and I'll have the dock done up this week um, so we can start uh, pre-ordering and once I get all the orders in I'll see, I'll check out what, it, what, uh, what what's needed in what country and things like that and then we can start um, ordering so uh, uh, but I want to be able to tell them hey I need 10, 10 black shirts with uh, Bitcoin Ascension on it and uh, or polo shirts or something but I like to give them bulk numbers and that way they do a run and it's cheaper that way for us than um, them having to like chop and change all the time. So, you know, the color will be very important and all that and the size, size won't matter, but the color will. And um, so the more we get in, and remember all the profits, actually I had, that's right, I was gonna ask you people about this because this is, this is Bitcoin Ascension is yours. Now I said with the profits, what I wanted to do uh, with the, all, the, all the profits after costs, you know, the total profit, I'm gonna be buying um, Bitcoin Ascension um, positions and then giving them to you, the people. Uh, we'll use them in promotions and competitions. Still gonna do that, but I was gonna ask if out of all the money we make in profit, if I keep 10% aside from, from sales, just 10%, it'll be 
it'll be in my account, but you know, I can show you live and things like that, the money in there. Um, but uh, I want to keep 10% aside and the more merchandise and we build up a pool. And then when we've got um, a fair bit of money in there, then we can find a project around the world that we can, you know, I'll put up a poll, you know, what do you, who do you want to help? You know, you want to feed some children or, you know, save some animals or, or whatever we want to do. You know, if we've got a couple of thousand dollars in there after a time, um, we can then send $2,000 to like the charity that's doing that particular project. So you look for people doing particular projects and, and then we can help fund that. And we can market that as well, and we will, because we should. Um, and not, it's, it's not because we want to make money out of it, it's because we want to make people aware that Bitcoin Ascension isn't just a program, it is something that's trying to heal the world. Now we'll start off small, but we'll grow so much bigger. Um, but I think, I think if we keep 10% besides and, and make a pool of money, and then there's a project, even if it's like um, kids in a, um, a lower, lower income area uh, need uh, sports jerseys, you know, like uh, soccer or, 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 or uh, football. Uh, other types of football, the rugby leagues and the NFL and stuff like that, um, or ice hockey or whatever, and they really need jerseys or something like that, and they're in an underprivileged area, sort of thing, and they just can't get the funding for it, but they just need new jerseys, you know, baseball team. You know, we can send them the money for that. We can probably put our patches on, but um, but we can send them the money for that. So those kids have pride in what they're doing, and it keeps them off the street, playing sport, and they feel proud because they have brand new jerseys instead of looking like the Sandlot kids. Um, and, and being judged by people, which shouldn't happen, but we know it does. So if you think that idea is okay, um, even if I have to form a committee uh, from different parts of the world uh, and things like that, but I don't want to have everything tied up in committees where everyone's disagreeing with each other, um, but I will, will want to look at different projects that we can we can help. Remember, if we, we do one and, 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 and there's another one around, obviously we build up the pool again and do that one the next time and things like that, or we keep it for emergency fund for any uh, emergency relief, but not until we're bigger will that make a real impact. So we can help some of the smaller areas. And then of course we advertise it, you know, you know, we, we help help the bad news bears with new 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 baseball jerseys or something like that, or um, if you have, anyone ever remembers that movie, The Bad News Bears, it was a pretty cool movie. Um, but but things like that, but uh, or, or uh, a village in Africa who needed irrigation and we supplied enough money so they could get the equipment to, um, to, to set that up, you know, um, and, and we do that and we, and we get, uh, you know, photo shots of that and everything like that. And, and it, it, I think it's important um, that we, 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 we can do that. So we're selling the merchandise. So I'm not asking you for money out of pocket. You guys are gonna be buying the merchandise anyway. Um, so if we keep a small percentage of that, and I think that'd be great. And the rest of, of course, go into um, Bitcoin Ascension um, uh, positions and then given away to the people, uh, even if we, Every one out of one of every fifty was going to be for the Bitcoin Ascension Foundation, and um, and and that that'll go through the matrix as normal, and maybe every um, one of our, uh, and and another one can go towards a special charity or something like that that someone knows and and is in contact with the owners and things like that, and we can donate a position to them as well, um, and we can help set them up. So that might be an idea of doing it, but for the most part, it'll be positions. As long as the positions are going through, it doesn't matter who owns them. Um, I won't be owning them, but um, but I want the people to own them. But I, I thought a little pool for, for little things we can do to start improving the world, smaller, and as we get more people in, bigger projects, you know, bigger effect um, around the world. And we can do it, and we are going to do it. It's not an if, it's a win, okay? And it's all up to us. So uh, the more people we introduce, um, and uh, the, they come in, they see what we're doing, they join in, guess what? It just goes up exponentially. And, that, and, that's, and it just takes a bit of commitment every day, and, and it's not much. So I think I've covered just about everything right now. Um, sorry, a lot on my mind. And <laughs> But the Get Started button's there. Um, uh, we're going to be doing prospect calls, not this weekend, but next weekend. Uh, so start telling people about it, 2 p.m. Uh, Central Time uh, on Chuck's Zoom. And we'll, we'll make posts about it as well so you guys know. Um, the merchandise and what I want to do with that. So have a think about what I said and uh, let me know in the comments please i really really want to know your opinions on these things um i do not want to be the dictator at the top and says we're doing this and you guys don't get a choice because we're all in this together okay um transparency is always there isn't it yeah so um so that's that's it for the live um i'll be flying out soon and i'll be doing another live tomorrow um 
love you all very much and, and, and thank you for making this such a special program uh, instead of just a, a common one. And uh, it, it's just nice to have something a little bit more than just that's just the norm. And uh, I think we're, we're shifting, as, as Clive said, I think once, uh, you know, we're shifting the paradigm of the way online businesses and, and programs are going. Um, and, and I'm really excited about that. So uh, uh, I'll get going. I'll catch you all again tomorrow. I might do a, um, a quick live on my phone or something like that when I, when I hit uh, Tasmania, probably on my, either on my wall or in Bitcoin Ascension, just saying hi, I made it, and, uh, and, and how is everyone, and, and things like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what I'm doing. But I see how tired I am. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.